Hey folks, Carmen Gentile here, founder of Post Industrial, where we cover the Rust Belt, Appalachia, and post industrial communities around the world, in addition to other important stories. I'm just finishing up work on a column here about how post industrial America figured prominently in Joe Biden's State of the Union address. Now, he made mention of a number of projects happening in our region, including things happening with Chips and Science Act, infrastructure bill, and a host of other things. But he made mention of particularly of one town in Illinois called Belvedere that was uh, slated to lose its auto factory up until recently. And those jobs have been saved there, making sure that thousands of people have full time employment. Uh, that's another important success that we've seen uh, in recent years under the Biden administration. However, they've done a terrible job of messaging those successes to a lot of people in our region who uh, are still discontent uh, with him having won the election, which he did, and though that a lot of them can't admit to that fact. And the fact is that his numbers are underwater in much of post-industrial America, states that Biden desperately needs to win uh, if he's going to uh, get reelected this year. Uh, in 2016, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania flipped for Trump and changed the course of hu uh, human history. And in 2020, they took it away from Trump thus changing the course of the planet as well. So there's a lot of really important stories happening in our region that affect not only the rest of the country, but the entire world. So uh, keep coming back to postindustrial.com. Keep coming back to this space. Like and subscribe. You're helping us grow the channel and to help get the word out about important stories coming out of post-industrial America and post-industrial communities around the world. Sound good? All right, let me get out of here before I say something stupid.